and uh, I wouldn't come here and show you something that worked upside down in a canoe on Wednesday night only. <laughs> a quote from Dr. Goodhart. Uh, the things that we're going to show you are tried and true techniques that used over and over again. And uh, I've been around long enough to know there's more than one thing to, more than one way to accomplish something. <clears throat> and so um, we're going to show you a method of doing it. And you might know another method to do it. And so I'm just acknowledging that up front, <clears throat> that there's more than one way to do something. It doesn't mean one method is wrong or one method is the only one, the way to do it. But we've got so many topics to cover, we probably don't have time for all of you to add your particular way of accomplishing the same thing. <clears throat> so uh, even though you may be biting at the bit to give your testimony of how, how you do that particular feat. So um, just two weeks ago, Wally and I were in Detroit at the annual meeting of ICAK. And this particular meeting was an international meeting. We had people there from about 13 different countries, maybe about 200 people total. The different chapters take turns hosting the uh, international meeting. And this particular year, the USA chapter hosted the international meeting. And my point of bringing this up is, uh, we sat there and listened to all these research papers being presented. And most of the papers presented a new finding uh, that we had not previously known about, or maybe more precisely, a method of uncovering a pre-existing condition. And by following this particular procedure, you can find this particular condition that you didn't know was there, and then here's your options on, on how to fix it. And the reason I'm telling you this is because um, the body works on a priority system. And we'll go, we'll go through some criteria what determines whether something is a priority or not. But one of, the, one of the criteria of a priority is it's weak in the clear. And if it's not weak in the clear, even though you can find it and even though you can demonstrate it, it's probably not a priority. That's one of the rules. Priorities are weak in the clear. And so what happens is uh, people spend a lot of time fixing compensations. Once in a while, I am requested to do an IME uh, examination on another doctor's patient. IME is independent, independent medical examination. And what, what that means is the insurance company thinks that that other doctor is treating the patient too long. That's what that really means. And they're looking for some evidence or some excuse to discharge that patient and to get to stop having to pay in insurance claims. So they send the patient out to an independent medical examiner. And sometimes that's me. So I get the notes of the other doctor and I see where that doctor has adjusted a posterior right atlas on 25 consecutive visits. Now, the doctor's not lying. The doctor really did adjust a posterior right atlas on 25 consecutive visits. But you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that must not be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what does it mean? It means that the atlas is going posterior on the right as a compensation for something else wrong. So the trick, therefore, is to find what the body's compensating for, and then fix that. Then you won't have to keep repeating the correction of the posterior right atlas, as an example. And with, with no exaggeration, most doctors spend 80% of their time fixing compensations. And you didn't learn anything else but how to tell if something was a priority or not, not only would you save 8% of your time making corrections, but 
<clears throat> you've increased your chances tremendously that the correction is going to last. And you don't have to make, keep making the same correction over and over again. So uh, prior, priorities are a big, big deal. And uh, because the body is, works on a priority system, body will rob Peter to pay Paul. Um, the highest priority the body has is to survive. So if, if one circuit goes bad, it's an essential circuit, the body will rob energy from another circuit to keep that circuit going. Except you weren't present when that transference took place. So what happens when the patient lies down on your exam table, and this patient is uh, 40 years of age, you're looking at 40 years of compensations that have been going on in, in that patient's body. And the trick is to unravel that in a certain sequence. If you, if you choose a haphazard sequence, uh, you'll be guilty of treating compensations and not getting at the real problem. And so uh, the priority system is uh, the ideal method of determining that. We'll, we'll give you a, a list of things that can constitute priority. We'll also show you a shortcut <clears throat> because I was in with the original Dirty Dozen in the field of applied kinesiology, I got to learn this stuff as it was discovered. When a practitioner comes into this field today, the amount of material available is just overwhelming. And I'm, I feel bad how overwhelming that is to a new practitioner, to see the, the whole body of kinesiology, how much material has been accumulated. Whereas we, we guys on the ground floor, we got to learn it as it was uh, discovered. Discover is an interesting word too because um, when a new technique comes out because this circuit has been discovered, it doesn't mean that that circuit was created. It means it was there all along. And we just weren't aware of it being there all along. Until now we have some method of <laughs> being able to uh, de detect it. So um, this priority system is high, high on the list of things you want to be aware of. Let's, let me give you an example. You're, you're on a cruise ship, and uh, the cruise ship has a generator down in the engine room that's producing electricity for the uh, entire ship. But then something happens to the primary generator, and the primary generator goes down, and the engine room switches over to the secondary generator. If you're in your stateroom reading a book, you might see the lights dim and then come back on bright again. But then, as you're reading on, the light looks the same, the muscle tests the same, you have no idea that that muscle is strong because it's running on a secondary generator rather than a primary generator. And then it might happen that something happens to the secondary generator. And now the emergency batteries take over and run essential things like exit signs that, that need to be lit up for, for emergencies. So when that patient comes in, you might find very few muscles strong because they're just running on storage batteries. I think you get the idea of how the body is so good at compensating and it does so with priorities in mind. The idea is the highest priority is for the body to survive. So our object this weekend will be to treat the whole body. And we're going to start out by showing some individual um, techniques that will eventually all come together as a total program to to uh, treat the body.